Jurassic World Evolution 2 is a fantastic zoo management game where all of your precious little animals are dinosaurs. Every time you release one of these walking multi-million dollar scientific marvels, a gripping curiosity asks what would happen if these prehistoric monsters fought each other. Well, today we are going to find out in a no-holds-barred dinosaur battle royale here in the Central Raptor exhibit. Let's take a look at the contenders, and entering the field first is the Dilophosaurus. These spined, poison-spitting carnivores are both the smallest in weight class, but also the most numerous team in today's competition. Joining them is Metricanthosaurus, entering in as the midweight carnivore in today's competition. They are a heavy contender here as an all-around team with five entries on their team and a definite punch behind them in terms of muscle mass. First blood is already being drawn between the Dilophosaur and the Raptors as we are waiting to still get all of our combatants in the field. It looks like the Dil the Velociraptor was actually driven off by the Dilophosaur. We will see if that remains the case. Next up, we have a herd of Triceratops coming in in the armored herbivore category of dinosaurs. These guys are heavyweights, but don't let their lumbering size make you think that they are slow or in agile. They can jump around like a rhinoceros, and with those spikes can actually pack quite a punch. The raptors are continuing to be the instigators and have immediately picked the Metricanthosaurus as the weak link here in the competition. Double teamed on this guy and he has already been brought down to low health. Will they be able to finish the job? Here they are leaping on both sides. Raptors synergizing with their pack tactics and it looks like they are actually going to drop. We have our first dead dinosaur. Vol Team Velociraptor first kill. Our fifth entry is the Stegosaurus. Another armored herbivore entering the fray. They have a herd size of six here. These guys even bigger than the Triceratops. I'm going to go over the dinosaur stat lines that the game has at the end so I don't spoil anything. But I think the stat line for the Stegosaurus may seriously surprise some people. Team Dilophosaurus, not wanting to be shown up by the Raptors, have four up against this Triceratops. Looking to bring the beast down, they are just surrounding him. They have downed him. It looks like they are going to be able to pull this off without even suffering a casualty. Are these guys with their large herd size actually going to be a contender? Second kill going to Team Dilophosaurus. Now, of course, the final entry, the heavyweight, coming in here at the end, which is giving them some kind of advantage because some of the carnage is already underway. Team Tyrannosaurus Rex, Apex Predator, star of Jurassic Park. They have two entries here, and they are looking to just clean up the competition. The Tyrannosaurus Rex has been and always will be the poster child of the Jurassic Park franchise. But I think everybody understands that the true most deadly dinosaur has gone to the Velociraptor. So we're going to see if the T-Rex is able to down team Velociraptor in the end here. They may be competing for title of alpha between each other. Infighting could be the thing that pulls down some of these teams. The ranger teams are in a real bad spot here, trying to do wellness checks on these dinosaurs. We have carnage opening up all across the map. The Stegosaurus has been targeted by Team Dilophosaur, again, coming in with four members, able to drop that Stegosaurus even through his armored plates and spike tail. Triceratops coming in, driving away some of the Dilophosaurs, but his team, his friend, is already downed. We're gonna throw a quick pause here before chaos completely ensues and say put your bets for who wins down in the comments or at least at the end, say who you thought was going to win and whether or not you were surprised by what ultimately happens. Metricanthosaurus sizing up the Stegosaurus here. Triceratops moving around chaotically. I wonder if they will be able to pack up and use their herd defenses, similar to how the Dilophosaurs and the Velociraptors are able to attack in packs. T-Rex sizing up the Stegosaurus as well, and also the size of his pen. We just have a lot of stare downs right now, but no explicit action. Oh, yeah. 
Raptors versus Dilophosaurs. The Raptors have definitely targeted the Dilophosaur as the weak link here in the field, and they are taking down that team. The Dilophosaur is able to synergize very similar to the Raptors and how they use pack tactics to be able to bring their prey down. And here, one on one, it seems that the Raptors win just looking away against the Dilophosaurs. No contest. Though they still get broken up in the fights between the, uh, the Stegosaurus and the, the roaming. Nobody wants to get hit by that spike tail. We actually have infighting here, a competition for Alpha between the Triceratops. Don't they know that there are bigger issues at stake here? One of these will take Alpha, but we have another fight breaking out. Oh, I think I was too late to the scene. The Stegosaurus just put down that Metricanthosaurus. Oh, I wish I could have seen that if using the spike tail to swing out. T-Rex, surprisingly, not really getting in on the action here. Waiting to see, biding their time on who they are going to pick off. Metricanthosaurus and Triceratops sizing each other up here. Ooh, trying to be more agile than that lumbering Triceratops, but the spiked frill actually driving him away with an injury. Ah, uh, this is just an incredible shot. The game gets the dinosaurs so right. The Lophosaur actually getting the jump on the Velociraptor and taking him down there. Bite to the neck, swift and vicious. Now the Stegosaurus infighting, infighting again between the armored herbivores. That could be the downfall of these teams. They're fighting over, oh, they both, they both have the little alpha crown. Okay, th this definitely needs to be battled out to decide. They have such tiny brains. They both thought that they happened to be the leader until, you know, they saw each other trying to give the orders here. It looks like we have a three-way stare down. The Raptor doesn't necessarily want that fight against the Triceratops, but neither does the Metricanthosaurus. Team Dilophosaur jumping in on the Metricanthosaurus. Oh, he's getting chucked there. Maybe they bit off more than they could chew on this one. He has knocked away the combatants, but they're just right back on him. He needs to be able to pull out, disengage, otherwise he is going to go down. These little agile guys, they don't mind if they get chucked away. They can just land back on their feet and keep coming. Metricanthosaurus getting just taken down there by only two of the Dilophosauruses. Doing a quick check on headcount. Oh, it looks like the T-Rex might actually be getting in to engage. Oh, the stare down with the Triceratops. No, he is going in. He's gonna down the Triceratops. Team Triceratops and Metricanthosaurus looks like they may be the first to exit this competition. Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus have had their team numbers cut in half. Nobody seems to be able to contend with the T-Rex here, challenging everyone, rushing through the island, just exerting dominance, but not necessarily going in for any particular targets. There are so many corpses down on the ground that there is easy feeding for the carnivores so it looks like hunger might not drive them to uh to battle here the herbivores will be missing uh their usual feeding options it looks like the stegosaurus may be surrounded by team dilophosaur here he needs to be careful he should be uh should definitely be pulling away though at the same time he has other other bands of his herd nearby and the carnivores are somewhat satiated here at night with all of the easy eating. Metricanthosaurus wary of the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the middle. Team T-Rex coming back together here. If they were to ever hunt as a pair, then they're going to be the, the easy top here. Though if they choose to fight for Alpha, if they choose to fight for Alpha, it could be a very different story if one of them was given serious injuries from the other. I feel like that, at this point, is the only way that one of the other teams would have a chance at being the final stand. A lone raptor here crossing the island. He needs to be able to find the rest of his pack if there's going to be any hope of the Raptors making it into the final stages of this battle royale. Ooh, sizing up the Metricanthosaurus. They're challenging each other across the way, but that is not a fight that the Raptor wants to take one-on-one, -on -one. not at all. The 
Rex again. Oh, but the Raptor's on the move. Does he have a target? No, he's just backing away from the Rex, holding the center of the enclosure. Definitely the Team Tyrannosaurus Rex playing from a position of dominance here. Both of them encircling this Stegosaurus. But no, nope, they do not want to bite into that spiked tail. Or they are simply waiting for the Stegosaurus to drop his guard. The Raptors here are making their move. Pushing in on the Stegosaurus. He doesn't seem to be able to combat with these little guys jumping on him from all sides. Have the Raptors just dropped off? Stegosaurus seems to have fended them off, though with no sides sustaining meaningful injuries. The Raptors may just choose to re-engage immediately here. The Rex has been sizing up this Stegosaurus. Does he really want this battle? It looks like he might. This is it, going in for the kill on the neck. Stegosaurus not even getting a hit back. He is taken down by Team Tyrannosaurus. Once again, infighting between the Stegosaurus team. Again, another challenge for Alpha. They have been doing pretty all right for themselves in terms of team numbers here, but constant infighting and bucking of heads could leave them with injuries that will definitely hamper them as we reach the final stages. Here comes a play, Dilophosaurus. It looked like he had the drop on the Velociraptor, but the Velociraptor able to size him up quickly. The Lophosaurus still pouncing in and actually dropping Velociraptor. This is the former alpha of the Raptor team. One of the oldest dinosaurs in the park, 82 years of age. That could be why the Dilophosaurus sized them up for that pouncing attack. They were just too old. They had a number of battle experience, but it was not able to fend off the reflexes of the young Dilophosaur. The T-Rex actually testing his strength up against the fence here. This has me a little worried. I don't want uh, any competition ranging outside of the gates, so we are going to look to repair this fence before... Ooh, okay. Please, please don't try and cut out of here. Give up. Give up against the barbed wire. And the fence is broken. This is going to definitely pose a problem. All right, capture team. Team Tyrannosaurus Rex looking for a disqualification here. And if anyone else decides to break from the competition grounds, we're gonna have to do a pause as we wait for the tranquilizers to wear off, which is gonna be very unfortunate. Rex able to score a few extra kills against the park guests. Maybe we do have to qualify that with some bonus points for them. We'll give them that. They managed to score kills against a team that was not even competing here in the competition. The Lophosaur making a run for it. He sees his chance. The park ranger coming in to repair the gate is just not quite there. All right, the Lophosaur made it out. Also looking to score some bonus kills here up against the park guests. I wonder if he's going to be able to grab any. Hmm. Doesn't look necessarily promising for him. Fence is back up. Uh, T-Rex return to the enclosure and we'll get the Dilophosaur back in as soon as we can. Very hard to hit with the dart guns. Should definitely be training better on the dart guns. <laughs> Alright. The Renegade is down. Return to the pen. And we take stock of where we are at in here. A num oh no! We missed the Tyrannosaurus Rex dropping. Died in a fight with MTR011. I cannot believe that we missed that. The alpha of the Metricanthosaurus. His team has been cut to ribbons, but he's showing that he is going to make this count. Team Tyrannosaurus Rex down to only one. The champions can bleed. Checking up on the teams, we only have a single Raptor, and unfortunately they are in critical condition. Team 
Triceratops still with three Stegosaurus with three, Metrocanthosaurus with two, T-Rex with only one, and Dilophosaurus with only two. Unfortunately, the small pack hunters have not had a good time of things. So here's Dilophosaurus sizing up the T-Rex who has fallen down resting. Does he fancy jumping in here with a, does he see an opening? Dilophosaur knocking over the final raptor. It looks like the team raptor has been eliminated. A shocking display though. At the same time, I am now realizing that having them be in the field from the very beginning gave them the longest stint of fighting. And so it makes sense that they took a large amount of attrition. Still, the Dilophosaurs able to outlast the Velociraptors. That was not a result that I saw coming. Not nearly. Ah, uh, is this Metricanthosaurus wants to now test his weight against the fence. Now, he doesn't have nearly as much weight to throw around as the Tyrannosaurus, so the fence is able to hold up against him. Thankfully, I didn't want to have to do another of the rehabilitations. Now the Triceratops and the Stegosaurus getting into it here. Stegosaurus getting the early lead up against the Triceratops. Is this just going to be a disengage with injuries or is the Stegosaurus going to have... Whoa! Stegosaurus dropping him. He's staying down. He's alive. Oh, nope. He did. Stegosaurus with a killer instinct even up against the Triceratops. Across the map, Metricanthosaurus coming in against the Triceratops. He is already injured. He does not want to take this fight head on, especially not without a partner to help him bring down the much larger Triceratops. Is this going to be a decisive play? His partner is there across the way in the stream. Maybe there will be an opening for them to join forces. And the Triceratops actually backing off. Indecisive. The Triceratops sustaining a lot of heavy hits there. Maybe Metricanthosaurus actually going to be the winner in that combat. Team Dilophosaurus dropping the final, or the second to final, Metricanthosaurus. Maybe Dilophosaurus, the small, agile pack, could be the last one standing. Though, somebody is going to have to drop the T-Rex. And it was the Metricanthosaurus the first time. There's only one Metricanthosaurus remaining, and he is already injured. So I don't think that is going to be a repeat hit up against the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Team Dilophosaur going in against the Triceratops. They are relentless in scoring kills across the board. I think if we are going to give, it was impossible to keep up with who was scoring all kills all across the entire match. But from what we have been able to view, Team Dilophosaur have definitely scored the most kills. Even if they are not the last one standing, then they earn the point, rightly so, for being the most lethal team in the field. Oh, the Metricanthosaurus Alpha exhibiting an incredible healing factor. He had been injured, but has shaken off the injury and is coming back to full health. That is going to be a very interesting development. Ooh, actually putting a little bit of damage on that gate. All right, we're gonna want to, uh, want to make sure that we repair that. Get this fence repaired before this, this incredible beast is able to break out, exhibiting the strength of a Tyrannosaurus Rex in him. The Lophosaur yelling back at the T-Rex, but he's been caught. Is he going to be able to disengage? It's going to be very important for Team Dilophosaur not to just get picked off. Metricanthosaurus looking to finish the job on that Triceratops he had wounded previously, and he does so swiftly. The Alpha Metricanthosaur, I am actually starting to root for him quite heavily. Can we just talk a little bit about what this beast has accomplished? Winning three fights dropping a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's up to infamy level three. It only goes up to four. Here, the partner T-Rex is coming along to size him up. He may just want part of the... Yeah, he's scaring him off the kill. The Tyrannosaurus Rex still just, just flexing, but not choosing to engage. Comparing into the Dilophosaur Alpha, also reaching infamy level three with two direct kills up 
winner of two other fights. And then I believe this metric is that he has been able to feed on at least three other dinosaur types. Metrocanthosaurus having crossed the map here. Sizing up this, that is the Stegosaurus Alpha, who is at critically low health. There's also a Dilophosaur in the area. This Dilophosaur having vultured off of a number of kills, though not been too involved in fights himself. The action is starting to slow down. That only makes sense as there are much fewer numbers of combatants. Taking stock of the combatants, Team Triceratops has been fully eliminated. Team Stegosaurus is down to three members and they are all at critically low health. And then otherwise we have the single Tyrannosaurus, single Metricanthosaurus, and three Dilophosaurus. It's going to be a matter, the, the small pack may still be able to rise up and claim the throne. They're actually scoring kills up against the goats here, the live prey. Rather than feeding off of any of the other larger dinosaurs, interesting, they have developed a taste for the modern comforts of food here. Metrocanthosaurus taking a rest. He's at full health. Tyrannosaurus Rex at full health as well. And I don't believe there are any injuries on Dilophosaurus team right now. Looks like they may have been chasing this Stegosaurus. He's getting, he's getting out quickly. The Dilophosaurus pack is all together in this corner of the pen. That definitely spells a danger for anyone else because they seem to only want to attack if they have a friend around, unless they are fighting something that is close to their similar weight class. Dropping the Stegosaurus there, easy matter. I don't think they even took any counter damage. His large spike tail is just not agile enough to be able to score hits on these tiny little guys. Stegosaurus angry, just taking it out on the ranger team. And this is it, the Alpha Metrocanthosaurus. Is he going to be able to, no, the T-Rex has dropped. He's taken revenge. The Metricanthosaurus is down, died in a fight with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So that was the dinosaur who killed the other Tyrannosaurus Rex. Remaining T-Rex running back into the forest. He's been a part of two fights. He's also the one who got out, started killing people, broken through the fence, escaped all of his own might. Team Tyrannosaurus Rex looking much stronger now that they have dropped the Metricanthosaurus. Oh no, a storm warning here just as the fight is winding down to the final contenders. Okay, we're gonna have to manage it through the storm. If any action happens, I'll still try and get in close as my top priority, but I've got to try and save the rest of the park as well. As stunning as a battle during the storm would have been, there was no action while it was going on. And now I believe we are left with just Tyrannosaurus Rex versus the three Dilophosaurs. I'm gonna do a quick check here. We have Dilophosaur, Tyrannosaur, and another Dilophosaur. The Dilophosaurs now fighting amongst themselves. No, if they inflict injuries and team kills, then there's gonna be no chance up against the Tyrannosaur. The Tyrannosaurus has orchestrated yet another daring escape rather than finishing off Team Dilophosaur. This might be the end. It might be that Dilophosaur and Tyrannosaurus will cohabitate because he cannot really run down or catch the Dilophosaurs, but at the same time, they are not fancying any of their chances of being able to tackle him. He feels out of their weight class. They continue to face each other, but then just break off again. So it does seem like we're getting closer and closer to a cohabitation situation between the Tyrannosaur and Team Dilophosaur. I wonder if Team Dilophosaur actually had a larger pack size, if then they would fancy their chances bringing him down. But with only three and with one injured, they don't seem to want to make a move up against Rex. And the Dilophosaurs are just so fast. 
Obviously, Tyrannosaurus Rex, if he gets moving, can really put the speed on as well, but the Lophosaur are just extremely zippy here. Uh, right now, it looks exaggerated because we're accelerating the time, trying to get the time lapse to see if there's going to be any final action between our last two teams. Oh, have they seen? They've seen an opening. The Lophosaur is in. The Lophosaur is on him. But he gets chucked aside with serious injuries. This is the Alpha Dilophosaur. Is he going to re-engage? He needs his partner to help him here. No, the Alpha Dilophosaur is dropped. Choosing to engage alone against the Tyrannosaur was the death sentence. The new Alpha Dilophosaur coming in and feeding on his deceased brethren and then backing away Will there be any final competition between the two? The whole pack is here. One is circled around behind. Oh no, he's just chosen to disengage. I thought that may have been their signal to go as they had a pincer against the Tyrannosaur. Let's throw a pause here and just consider the infamy levels of the two teams. Well, it seems that Tyrannosaurus Rex is the last one standing out of the Battle Royale, probably to no one's surprise. They may not have scored the most kills. So here, this Dilophosaur has scored two kills and been the winner of two fights. Has actually lost a fight, but has still survived to this point, which is pretty impressive. The other remaining Dilophosaur has just vultured all of his kills fed on seven dinosaurs, but only won a single fight. That was very interesting. I believe that the other now deceased Dilophosaur had actually been a pretty star player scoring a number of kills. I mean, we've seen it all throughout the battle. The Dilophosaurs scoring takedowns no matter what enemy they were going up against. And Tyrannosaur having won two fights, scored kills against two other dinosaurs, and been able to eat one of the park guests as well, orchestrated two escape attempts, trying to go for a third here. Keeping this Tyrannosaur caged has been a true problem. I think that it is appropriate that these are our two final teams. Given their performance across the day, Tyrannosaur just standing above and beyond what the other teams were able to do, though not necessarily being the most vicious or aggressive against the other dinosaurs, they were still able to withstand the enemy attacks and make it to be the last one standing, the apex predator at the end of the day. And just to add a little bit more merit to them standing on top, having the multiple escape attempts to be able to break through this heavy security fence and get into the park guests, let's try and score some bonus points. Uh, incredibly interesting, and there they go again. And then on the other side for the last remainers, to be Team Dilophosaur, who we've seen score the most kills of any of the teams, their pack tactics, and even going straight up against the Velociraptors, winning one-on-one -on -one against the Raptors was shocking to me, but then seeing them gang up and bring down the larger dinosaurs was incredibly impressive. Unfortunately for Team Dilophosaur, you would have to credit their Alpha's lone attack against the Tyrannosaur really being the team's undoing because I see no way for the two remaining Dilophosaurs to bring down the Rex. We will see here. We have removed all of the food sources within the enclosure. So both sides are starving. That means that there should be either a final escape attempt or final combat. Here it is. The Dilophosaurus both engaging together, going up against the Tyrannosaurus. Which one is going to win? They keep on coming. They get knocked back, taking injuries. And Dilophosaurus wins! Dilophosaurus dropping the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the final moments. What an incredible play. I don't think that anybody had the Dilophosaurus as the victors at the end of the day. I didn't think that two would be able to drop the Rex especially after he made such short work of the alpha in the lone combat between the two. But there it was, when they attacked together, they were able to drop him. Now, of course, both sides were starving. Both sides had extremely low stamina and health, but this was the survival of the fittest, the challenge to be the last one standing. 
and we see it. It is the Dilophosaurus, not the Tyrannosaurus Rex, still around in the pen at the end of the day. And that is also even with the Tyrannosaurus Rex having the extra advantage of entering the field last while some of the combat had already happened and some of the teams had already been weakened. And Dilophosaurus entered the field first. Now true, the Raptors were already in the field, but the Dilophosaurus immediately started taking down some of the Raptor members and and we're scoring takedowns all across the day. I promised at the end to go over the stat line of the contenders, and we are going to do that. But first, if you enjoyed this kind of video, leave a like. And I have plenty of other content coming out for Jurassic World Evolution 2. More of these battle royales, more one-on-ones and bracket tournaments so that the two teams can go straight up against each other without all the chaos and craziness that a battle royale entails. And also just Let's Plays, showing off how I structured this Jurassic Park chaos theory uh, scenario, how I brought it to the state that it is, and then beyond, taking it all the way up to the scenarios requested five stars. We've got a lot coming out, so subscribe if you want to make sure that you see those future Jurassic World videos from me. Now, let's look at the stats. To give you guys a baseline, we're going to look at Metricanthosaurus first. Their team did better than I honestly expected, coming in with 77 attack, 20 defense, and then they have a dominance rating of 97, which is going to show how aggressive they are going to be against other species. And that dominance rating really coming into play when the Metricanthosaurus dropped a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I am still kicking myself for missing that while the other Tyrannosaurus Rex had escaped, and so we were forced to manage the escape and we missed what was some of the juiciest action of the battle. Hopefully in our future installments we can get a straight up Metricanthosaurus versus Team Tyrannosaurus Rex battle and we'll get to see a reenactment of what might have happened. Checking out the Raptors next, one of the early teams out, which was shocking to me. They have an attack value of 60, defense of 16, dominance of 76. This attack of 60 is nothing to sneeze at, especially when you take into consider that they will attack together using pack tactics against the larger attack against the larger targets and thus able to leverage an enormous attack. So if you have two Raptors, that's 120 attack dropping down onto one of these bigger guys, which shows how they are able to gang up and score takedowns. Triceratops with the attack of 63, defense of 34, and an extremely high base dominance as well. Unfortunately for them, that aggression was mostly shown against each other in battles for Alpha, and I think that really slowed down their momentum. They also never really used herd defenses, which is kind of how we are always taught that they are able to survive when they can stack up next to each other in a powerful stampede to fend off predators. It was always them getting picked off one at a time. So the animosity within the herd really dropping the Triceratops chances. And they were also one of the first teams out. Now, Team Stegosaurus, and yes, you are seeing that right, an attack value of 90, defense of 45, and dominance of 135? These guys are vicious, even though they are herbivores, and that was one of the reasons that I thought they could be a sleeper to actually win it all with that kind of attack value and high defense. Also, base dominance getting them into fights. I thought that they might have honestly fended off all comers and just left the, uh, the pen peaceful at the end of the day, but that was not the case. Coming down to our final two and looking at the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Apex Predator, attack of 109, defense of 30, base dominance of 139. Unparalleled stats. Also, when you put it on such a large body that is still able to get moving pretty quickly, this is an incredible force of nature. Just was not able to pull it out at the very end of the day. I honestly think the final ending was a coin flip as the two starving sides, both with extremely low health, went at it. Though at the same time, if the Dilophosaurus Alpha had not thrown their life away, I think that the 3v1 would have much more heavily favored the Dilophosaurus. But there it is, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, with only two members on the team. Maybe actually not one of the stronger teams when you look at trying to add all of the stat lines of the full batch. And our winner is Team Dilophosaurus. They entered with a team of seven and they won with a team remaining of two. 
Attack of 47, Defense of 15, Base Dominance of 62. Terrible stat lines. The lowest stat line everywhere. Base Dominance, maybe keeping the infighting within their relatively large herd down so that they stayed more unified, being extremely useful for them. They went straight for the Raptors' throats and they won those competitions up against the Raptors, which I feel like they have no right of winning the Raptors with a higher attack value, higher dominance, more aggression. They are more likely the Raptors also to have the fit stat that is naturally within their genes. So getting a little bit of a bump on the base combat stats through that. But the Dilophosaurus, I mean, they proved all throughout the video that they could take down any one of the other teams and then even surviving to the very end the tyrannosaurus was not able to hunt them down they were too fast they avoided aside from the alpha throwing his life away needless combats alone they always fought with a numbers advantage and that was the game it was a team game it was their pack up against the others and they showed that the little guys cannot be counted out in these battles let me know the future matchups and battles you guys would like to see. Your wish is my command. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.